Hello and welcome to careerride.com. In this section, I am going to deal with PLSQL interview questions and answers. First question: Define PLSQL. PLSQL is a procedural language and is an extension to standard SQL. It enables us to execute procedural logic on the database. We use PLSQL to perform processing on the server. We can also use PLSQL to create stored procedure and functions. Advantages of PLSQL. PLSQL is a development tool and is an extension to standard SQL. We can also use conditional checking, branching and looping in PLSQL. In PLSQL, we can send a block of statement to the server which reduces network traffic. PLSQL provides rich set of error handling mechanism. PLSQL supports portability that is code written in DOS version can run on Unix version. Explain the concept of exception. An exception occurs when unwanted situation arises. The situation can be exceptional to normal functioning of the program. It can occur due to system error, user error and application error. In PLSQL, we can anticipate and trap these errors by means of exception handling codes. Types of exceptions: predefined oracle exceptions and user defined exceptions. Define user defined exceptions. We use user defined exception only when Oracle doesn't raise its own exception. In this procedure, we raise an exception by using raise command. What is a cursor? Define explicit and implicit cursor. Oracle engine opens a work area for each SQL operation for its internal processing in order to execute SQL statements. This area is private to SQL operations and is called a cursor. Implicit cursor If the Oracle engine has opened a cursor for its internal processing then it's a implicit cursor explicit cursor it is also known as user defined cursor when a user opens a cursor for processing a data then it is explicit cursor explain about cursor attributes each cursor or cursor variables has four attributes found is open no found and row count when appended to the cursor These attributes returns useful information about the execution of a data manipulation statement. What are the restriction of user cursor variables? PLSQL table cannot store cursor variable and a remote sub program cannot return the value of a cursor variable. What is a trigger in PLSQL? A trigger is a PLSQL block that is executed when a event occurs. It fires implicitly whenever the triggering event happens. A trigger never accept argument. It cannot be used for a select statement. What are the triggers supported in Oracle? DML trigger, instead of triggers, DLL triggers and database event triggers. DML triggers. It is defined on a table and fires in response to the event like when a row is inserted to a table, when a row is updated and when a row is deleted instead of triggers these triggers are created on views you can either use insert or update or delete or all three actions what are triggering attributes triggering attributes are used to catch event when you want to identify or to perform certain action they are as follows inserting updating deleting What is the difference between a function and a procedure in Oracle? A function always return a value back to the calling block. Explain the difference between grant and revoke command. Grant command is used to allow a user to perform certain activity on the database. The revoke command disallow the user from performing certain activities. Explain the difference between rollback and commit commands. The commit command is used to save the modification done to the database value by the DML commands. Rollback command. Rollback command is used to undo the changes made by the DML commands. This ensure the value that existed prior to the changes is achieved. Row level trigger. Row level trigger is fired each time a row is affected by DML statements like insert, update and delete. In the case when no row affected the trigger is not executed at all statement level triggers 
Statement level trigger is fired when a statement affects rows in a table, but the processing required is completely independent of the number of rows affected. Define joins and its type. A join is a query that extracts corresponding rows from two or more tables, views, or snapshots. Types equijoin, non equijoin, self join, and outer join. Equijoins Information from two or more tables are retrieved by using equality condition. Self join is a join that relates to itself. Outer joins Outer joins fetch the rows from two tables which matches the joint condition and the rows which do not match the joint condition. What are packages? A package is an encapsulated collection of related schema object. It is compiled and then stored in the database data dictionary as a schema object. These objects can be procedure, functions, variables, constraints, cursors, and exceptions. What are VArrays? VArrays Variable length array is quite similar to array of C++ or Java. It has fixed upper bound size that has to be specified while it is declared. The maximum length is defined in the declaration itself. This can only be used when you know in advance about the maximum number of items to be stored. Explain the constraints that can be applied to Oracle tables. Oracle constraints are usually used to maintain integrity of data. The different type of constraint includes check constraint, not null constraint, primary key constraint, unique constraint, check constraint. This constraint specifies a condition for a row, not null constraint. This specifies that a column cannot accept null values. Primary key constraint. This constraint ensures that each row is identified by a unique key. Unique constraint. This constraint ensures no column value has repetitive values. List out advantages of views. Complex queries that need to be executed often can be saved in a view. Views is extremely useful when query uses multiple tables. If tables are changed, only the view definition needs to be changed and not the code where view is used. Views are usually virtual and occupy no space. They prevent undesired access by providing security as the data that is not of interest to a user can be left out of the view. A view displays different data for different types of users. List out guidelines to create a view. The view's column names are same as table's column name. New column names has to be explicitly listed in the create view. New column names should be used while selecting column for a view. Order by clause cannot be used in the definition of a view. What are lob data types? The lob lob data types such as blob, clob, nclob, and B file can store large blocks of unstructured data such as graphics, image, video clips, etc. They provide random and piecewise access to the data.